But Janice is like, no, I don't think. Then be the change you want to see in the world, sis. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. And have I had a cursed week this week, my lovelies? This week, I also went to go and get my septum re-pierced. Now, have I got a little story for you? We sat in the studio. We mapped out where it was going to go and the jewellery that was going to be beautiful. I picked a horseshoe bar so it would be relatively straightforward to heal. Unfortunately, the piercer did the piercing and it was like, thum, and it was like this. Like this in my nose. And I was like, oh, am I going to appear in one of Roly's videos now? Ugh. So we had to take it out and I have to go back in about a month so that this piercing hole that I have right now can actually heal and they can do it again. What, what's the point? Also, my skin has gone to absolute sh this week. <laughs> so it's cursed. This week is cursed. How's that curse I cursed you with? Kirsty. But it's not gonna get me down, sis. With that being said, I believe today, my lovelies, today is actually the final of Janice Dickinson's modeling. <laughs> Season 1. We're actually here. 12 episodes it's taken us to get here. 12? 11? 12? This is the 12th episode and it is 45 minutes long, which means it's like the season final, which I guess if it was on TV would have been an hour and a half long. So I have absolutely no idea what we're going to see today, my lovelies, but I'm sure you can see more of this. I coined it. I own it. The top comment on the last episode of this, which was actually not that long ago, and there's a reason why I've shimmied this and America's Next Top Model around, and you'll see next week. Ooh. The top comment on the last episode is by Yami Yugi, and they say, is being the world's first supermodel Janice's only personality trait? I swear that's all she says about herself. And you would be correct. That does seem to be all she says about herself. So I wonder how many times we're going to hear it today, my lovelies, in the final of Janice Dickinson's modeling. The Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. Here we go. What a hideous nightgown and a wig. Oh look, a billboard and some photo shoots. What is Janice's like, what is, what is she actually doing in this show? What is this show? Is this Janice's garment? Fashion Italian Fountain, Dickinson Agency, Dupree the Third. Right, here we go. Should we, should we see the models now? I think you should talk to the models. Bring them all in now, That's please. Yes. Bring them in, see, bring in the model. I've been waiting for this moment for like over four or five days. Since we lost Fredericks of Hollywood as a client and nearly lost Interscope Records, when we didn't have models that met their needs, Peter and I realized that it was time to make some major changes. Hello? <gasps> oh no, what are they going to do to Claudia? Right, Please. here are all the models. I can't eat. All I do is stress out. I'm stressed out. This is Janice stressed out. Stina, I want to see you walk. And out here's agency. my whole deal with you. You have everything going on. But honestly, if you if you haven't taken into what I've told you as far as walking like a model, I hope you're gonna get this. Can we? Can I see you walk, Stina? <gasps> no pressure, girls. Stina, put your shoulders back. I was scared out of my mind because she still hates my walk 50% Stina is so gorgeous isn't she so gorgeous 23 and just gorgeous gosh the world really does belong to the gorgeous doesn't it so I'm oh, working look at her. on it now you're clumping again I know I can't clumping. see also I'm not trying to make excuses but I what have like a, I lost my contacts and I have an eye infection so I can't see anything even if I were decapitated, I'd still be able to walk better than that. Even if my head were rolling off a chopping block, my body would still be a model. There are no more excuses. I can't hear it. Otherwise, you're going to be fucked. Oh, my this goodness. There's that horrible haircut they gave to that lady last time. Look. Look. If this isn't two replicants from Blade Runner going, oh, modeling, I think, uh, around the stars of Saturn. Uh, <laughs> I can't hear it. Otherwise, you're going to be blocked. I can't hear this anything. I've anymore. got gout. Now walk. This is just an excuse for Janice to bring in models and shout at them. I will ne You'll never convince me of anything else. This is all she does is go, I'm so irate. And it's like, why are you irate, Janice? You haven't done anything. You've been in a fountain. Did she go to Puerto Rico for a photo shoot in the last episode? But she was just like on a beach having photos taken through a car. So like, I'm very confused. Oh, there she goes. Do I have to scream and pull blood just for you guys to see the difference? Why do I have to be pushed to the point for to be understood that you will be dumped, all of you, if you don't improve drastically within 13 seconds? Oh my God. I'm gonna say this one time. 
I can dance. I can sing. I can walk. I can talk. I can speak like a model. No, sure about Smile. that. I coined it. I own it. Bitch. Oh, Niagel, you're not allowed to stress out. You better go over there and walk and talk and act and think like a model replacing Naomi Campbell and Alec Weck in an industry. Otherwise, you're going to be dumped. Smile and walk like a model, please. Does anyone ever see improvement when people are like yelling at you in your face saying, you're gonna be dumped, you're hideous, you're disgusting unless you pull through and transform into a woman on the go. Does that ever help anyone? Have we ever seen anything like that happen in any of these shows ever? Or do we have weird leaking stories 10 years after they've aired about how broken these contestants are because of the show's impact on their mental health? Only one will make it to the pageant girls. There she goes. Janice is frustrated. I'm frustrated. And honestly, I'm glad she's finally ready to get rid of the models that aren't going to be making us any money. <gasps> What does that Do you mean? see the look on my face? It's one big question mark with you. I put up with all the criticism from Janice because from coming to the agency, I already knew Janice will be critical. You can be the perfect girl, but Janice will find something about you. Yes, I because she doesn't like anyone. That if you're not here to be models, please leave because you're wasting my time. Peter, take over. Say something. Guys, I think the reason why... The reason Janice why, is stressing why out Janice so much. Is so emotional right now is it costs money to keep each one of you. And what we're saying right now is it's getting expensive for us, so we're going to have to drop quite a few of you. With yes. That being said, if they should all know that at the end of the day, if, if it's better for the business to drop everybody and start over, then that's what's gonna happen. What's going on? Is it the eyeballs? What is it? What is it? Come on outside. God, the talking. last thing I would ever want if I was upset is Janice to be like, what's going on? What's going on? Is it the eyeballs? How are you? Oh, come on, come outside. Let me suck your soul out, girls. We all gotta die of something. <laughs> here. Here. Forced affection. Do a good job and learn. I'm trying to, like, focus on modeling and really doing everything that you tell me to do. And I'm writing you. I'm writing you because you are my number one girl. I, I don't mean to intimidate you. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm yes, just you do. Through your skull. You're Janice you know, intimidation today. You see how friendly is. And that just goes to show how personable she is and how much she does care about all of us. Oh, if that's not a production fed line, I don't know what is. It just shows that she cares all about us. I could not believe it. I don't think so, sis. Over the next few days, it will be you and I and a camera. Okay, and after that, if I don't see the way you move as a model... Wait, you and I on a camera? Is Janice being an doing another photo shoot here? Hang on. She did, like, the photo shoot in the first episode that we saw, if you remember, and she took some of those, the worst photos I've ever seen in my entire life, and everyone was like, <gasps> Oh, fashion has been done in here on this day! She really is trying to solidify herself in this industry as, like, on TV against Tyra, trying to showcase models to the world, but all we've ever seen her do is yell and shout at these models. They haven't booked an actual paying job because the agency isn't real. This is all nonsense. She's just Janice Dickinson's high horse, beat the interns agency. Good heavens. Decisions will be made. I will be saying, bye bye. I haven't made any final decisions on who's getting dropped. I have been developing these models but for you... several months now, have but I really done? want to take one final look at each and every one of them from behind my lens. See? All the models, I think, were a little shocked because we found out that people were going to be getting cut. And it sounded like a lot of us were, so... She, they were like, we're going to give her a really androgynous haircut and make her really edgy. This is not androgynous. This hairstyle is not androgynous. This is like a typical feminine European hairstyle. That kind of came a surprise. You guys are the chosen. But it's up to you. To make it. Of course I've felt concerns about being cut. I mean, I think everyone here has, 18. you know. I think there's always something wrong with me. I mean, I still need to lose the weight. I'm trying hard, but there's only so much I can do in one day. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this 18-year-old girl is trying to lose weight to fit into Janice's ideal image of what she can do for an agency. She is 18 years old. Her body is very, very, very much still developing. Like, 
I don't know what this idea was back in the day that puberty was like, oh, six months of puberty and that's it. You've got your adult body, girl. No, that's that's not true. We don't really become fully fledged adult human beings until we're about 25, sometimes a little bit later if you're a late bloomer. This is insanity. I cannot believe this girl is being told to lose weight on a TV show in front of like millions of an audience with a so-called world's first supermodel at 18. Really shocking, really shocking. And the fact that she has to do it with a smile on her face because she believes, she wholeheartedly believes that this is like her big break into the modeling industry. And production knows that. Trying hard, but there's only so much I can do in one day. Oh my gosh. Go. I wonder what she's up go. to now. Go, go. Right, here we go. Agency photo oh, shoot. I, all this all this season has been is agency photo shoots because Janice ruined the only opportunity to have a haute couture fashion show because she was busy in a fountain. Nah. That's gonna so drive me mad. I looked at every single one of these models when they first arrived at the agency. You did. So today's shoot isn't as much about the actual photograph. It's more about seeing how they've progressed. It will certainly help me to decide which ones that I need to let go. Bring in Cena, please. Really? You look beautiful. Thank you. How are we doing today? Huh? I'm here today to photograph you to see how well you move. As if we were shooting for a magazine. Let's see the smile. Get in the middle, baby. Work out stronger faces, Tina. It's Tina's tickets and taking your picture. Hey, yes. not good enough. No. I want better. When I brought Stina on, she was extremely close in having the whole package. And she really hasn't progressed that much since I hired her. Connect with me, Stina. Just because, realistically, she hasn't given any direction to these models. She likes to pretend that, like, oh, they're being taken under my wing and I'm really transforming them. But all she's done is, like, shout at them to be skinnier and walk better. And it's like... You can't just say that to people. You have to actually be a mentor and give them advice and take them to classes and all this kind of thing. Do you remember back, I think it was on an episode of America's Next Top Model, where uh, I think it was Betsy Johnson said to Katie, I believe, that she needed to go away and do six months of modeling school. Oh no, was it uh, Shalmara? It might have been Shalmara. Where she needed to go away and do six months of modeling school. And everyone kind of acted like it was the worst thing ever. Six months of a school to get into a career that could potentially be very lucrative and lifelong is a great trade, sis. With the lens, when I look at Horrible. Stina, I see a model that really wants to break through. Why is Janice? Just simply can't make that last step. What are those photos? Right. Here's so oh, Brittany. You're so good. Brittany's got it. She has capital IT. She has every single. Do you know, people in the comments of the last episode were actually mentioning that they seemed like they really favoured Britney here, and they did. Now, I, one, I think it's because, A, she's 16, so she's got that very, like, adolescent, very skinny look that everyone seems to want back in this day and age. But also, the photographers seem to spend a lot more time with her and give a lot more, like direction and as you can see she's got like much better costumes than nearly everyone else had on set so there's clear favoritism happening here i wonder how they're going to frame this single thing i'm looking for in being a janice dickinson model ever right. since i saw britney at model search america i knew that i had discovered a star amazing amazing brit i want you at the agency <laughs> cover right. of l magazine gay Whoa. i can't believe she's wearing a gay friendly top she is not gay friendly she is no absolutely not <laughs> Virgin Fashion Show, Britney had been walking... The lighting in that photo! How could you possibly ever say to me that this is a fashion photo? I mean, also, it's got one pixel and you'll be happy with it. But the lighting here is completely off. Her face isn't illuminated. The backdrop is like plain white. There's room for everyone. At the Virgin Fashion Show, Britney had been walking down that runway like she had done it a hundred million times This wasn't times a fashion show. Yes. Is that the only runway challenge we've had all season? I think it is, isn't it? It's the only runway challenge, which means the fact that she's like, why can't you all walk? I want you to walk. Why aren't you walking? There was the Ed Hardy thing as well. Was that fashion? Was that a fashion show? I really struggle to remember anything from this season. It's so, it doesn't leave any lasting impression except what the f is happening. She's helped me a lot through the training and the walking lessons. And what training? Just she wants us to have confidence and be ourselves. And I really feel like this has helped me a lot in understanding the modeling She's industry. So young. Kick it! Brittany is a high fashion model that's going to put this agency <gasps> right on the map. She's so Get. small. That's the shot. Get out of here. You're the best model I ever had. We have to go. Goodbye. Wow. But you know what? We're not gonna get to come back next week. Why? Because we're going on vacation. Where are you going? Oh, Paris. Delay. Okay. 
aunt. As soon as Brittany's mom had told me that they were going on vacation to Paris, I knew exactly what that meant. There's only one reason why a 16-year-old model goes to Paris. Coming up. Exactly! There's only one reason! And Janice is like, no, you can't go! So it's like Janice doesn't want this woman to be very good at her job. She wants to control her for a narrative uh, and not pay her at the same time. So, Brittany, I hope she goes off and she does it. The Janice Dickinson modeling agency, Vimto. Oh, oops. All right, here we go, girls. Ah. We're going on vacation. Quick so to We're studios. Brittany and I are going to Paris. Paris. She hopes that we will be able to go into a few agencies and possibly find work there. I would she do would whatever you work would. there. That's been whatever her dream think. from little girl. Whatever. You know, I mean, you're not going to make any money anyway, but you're going to yeah. come back with, with editorial. Oh. Sean, go crazy. Come back with something. That's the only way I'll be happy if you go. If Britney hits it big in Paris, you're not going to make any money. Why would she say that? Why would... She's so bitter. So bitter. The fact that she's like, gay friendly, I'm really friendly, I'm just here for the models, I want them to do really well. No, she doesn't. That very thing there of saying, you're not going to make any money anyway, is so like... She didn't have to say that. She could have just been like, oh, you're going to Paris. Okay. And it could have been like a business moment poker face thing of being like, I'm disappointed with your choice, but we can move on, whatever. The fact that she's sniped in to say, well, you're not going to make any money anyway, is going to sow that seed of self-doubt in someone that is 16 years old. 16. This woman is like in her mid 40s, I think here. Mid 40s. So it's like, how dare you talk to a child like that? Crushing a child's dreams. Vile. She's not coming back. That leaves me high and dry. Well, it's a cutthroat business. Yeah, and she's cut your throat, sis. Serene has the body of a statue from the Louvre. His body was the only oh, body that penis. was ready to work as soon as he walked through the front door. And you made Start him take all of his clothes off. Change it up. Is that him? I feel insecure sometimes because I didn't know what, who she's going to he looks completely different. Is it just the beard? He looks completely different to, to the person we saw in like the first few episodes. Is he, did he have bleached hair or something? Did he have highlights? He looks totally different. It's like his eyebrows have gotten thicker. Got it. It's the stress of working with Janice. Blip, blip. But sometimes I feel I was trained on me. I can make it. Chin down, chin down. No, give me some intelligence in the eyes, okay? Don't give me this, you know, things that other people, forget that, it's you and me. And I still think he's terrific. But his That photo, sis. That photo. This is very I'm blue dabba dee dabba die. All this 2000s uh, theme park ride advertisement. Don't look down. What is Janice doing? Janice Dickinson is not a photographer. Also, have they got no lighting budget? Like, where is the light? Have they not put any lights in front of their models to see? Is that no? We really want to ex Expose the background, girls. I don't care what you look like. This accent is a big negative for him. My older dentist was really His good. accent is a negative oh, for him. Oh, oh wow. Well, how interesting because America isn't actually the entire world, Janice. It's not the entire world, you know. Places do exist outside of America. And people could also have very lucrative careers outside of America. So maybe, Janice, your accent is a big negative for you. I coined it. I own it. Bitch. Every model Fearful must simply learn to take rejection. And that is one thing that Serene has never been able to do. Like no, it's because you're job. forcing him. You can't cry every time someone says no. Come on. Is that all you No, call? you got to do what Janice does and just lose her temper. You're not getting any more filet mignon? Get out of my house. What? It's horrible. All right, good. Go shave. He is so... He looks so much better in the candid shots there of, like, the actual cameramen filming that modelling session, if you can even call it that. He looks so much better then than the professional photos that Janice had taken. Would you be opposed to me shooting with a man? Excuse me. <gasps> you heard me. Would you be opposed to looking like a guy? Not if it's going to be fierce. Hmm. Gabe? My initial reaction... Oh, my God. What? I'm sorry, I have to listen to this again. Dave, would you be opposed to me shooting with a man? Excuse me? Would you be opposed? So this is the second, the third or second time we've seen Claudia. And she's in the final of this season. Janice is wearing a gay friendly top and saying, would you be opposed to me shooting you as a man? 
Why would you take Claudia and make her out like a man when you can't even take gorgeous photos of Serene? This is a production moment to be like, look, she's really a man, lol. That is disgusting. Oh, Janice, how f***ing dare you? Would you be opposed to looking like a guy? Not if it's gonna be fierce. Hmm. Gabe? And she feels the need to have to My agree to My initial reaction to the whole boy look, I'm definitely a girly girl, but it was interesting to see if I could do it. Excuse me, Trust me, Claudia, please. I trust you. 21st saw Claudia. She had this walk, bam, bam, that every straight guy was like, have their tongues hanging out. Why not give a good transgender a, a shot? We need you in this agency to teach. Give a good transgender a shot. Wow. Oh my God, I didn't expect it to be going like this. Okay, like this is Janice Dickinson's transphobia agency. And the fact that she said there, like every straight guy had his tongue out. Because yes, actually Janice, if men date trans women, that makes them straight. Because what? Trans women are women. The girls and the guys had a walk. Janice herself, just taking that chance to- I feel like she's really been led to this. this dream that I've had for- so a producer here would have sat Claudia down and been like, and what do you think about Janice giving you an opportunity? And she's had to respond with, well, I've dreamt about this my whole life and I'm so glad that Janice is giving me this opportunity. And look at the opportunity. Look at this. Ever has been my striving force. I want a three day, I've been up for three days. I got thrown Why? out of Why? This photo shoot was meant to be showing Janice who she can cut from the agency and then who she can sell on to clients as potential models. What about this? What, what about this? What, what, like, what, what does this achieve? What does this achieve apart from humiliating a trans woman on TV? I lost my woman. Be Claude, okay? Cool. Be Claude. I don't want to be an advocate for, you know, transsexual USA. That's not what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm here to take a pretty picture. That's really, really hot, Claude. I'm not the prettiest one here, especially not looking like this right now, but, um, I might be the handsomest one here. Not even that. See what I mean? All right, okay. So now you I'm see what it. I'm saying? Fargo? Okay. All right, you see what I'm saying, but what does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? You see what I'm saying? So Janice, what is the purpose of this picture? Fargo, how are we gonna, how should we do? I'm tired of seeing <laughs> FHM maximum look. Let's Overlap. shoot Fargo chic. From the beginning, Fargo has been a huge point of contention between Peter and I. This is fashion. We are fashion. I want art. He wants commercial. It's that simple. And I don't and think I'll ever And you failed at both. I want to try to get away from this Southern California thing to see if we can pull an elegant look out of you. I don't want Playboy models in this agency. That's not the kind of agency I'm running. I'm running a high fashion agency. Well, you aren't, though, are you? You aren't running any agency at all. It's not French Vogue. I want French Vogue. <laughs> Watch. Oh, she looks lovely. Well, you look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You look so elegant right now. This is, should be your, your signature look. I took Fargo out of her element. You didn't do anything! <laughs> Made her pose elegant. That is the nicest photo we have seen so far. This is the night. And did she did Janice take it? Janice isn't even taking the photo! <laughs> That's why it's the nicest photo we've seen so far, because Janice isn't involved. Made her pose elegantly Gorgeous. as opposed to like a surfer trash chick, and there was immediate change. Well done, Fargo. Well done. There's just been so much drama for me as far as I'm from Fargo. I'm so far away, and I dropped my entire life to move out here, and it's been really hard. Gorgeous. Once I put some effort into turning Fargo into something All right, artistic, let's see Janice's photo. absolutely transformed before my very eyes. I really think I underestimated her. Janice's photo? Hideous. What's the box doing in the background? Move the box! Big smile, big smile. Right, Jeez, here's Marcus, Marcus, who she also had to go at. Charisma sells him every single time, but he's gotta shake that attitude, honey. You, you, you know, you think you're such a badass, Marcus. Okay. Peter and I need to be able to see some commercialism in you, where I can see billboards, billboards. Not gangster, gangster. Right. <clears throat> Correct. 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 I wanna see models. Oh, like horrible, you. horrible. I wanna see you models. I don't really like the way that Janice spoke to him then. Because has she said to tone down personality for anyone else here? I don't like it. Oh, this is this is this this one's stressing me out today, girls. I feel a bit stressed at. This is your best look. A model simply must find something inside of themselves. A 
a character, a passion, photos. model for The thing is, the posing in these photos, the problem with these photos isn't the models. The problem is like, Janice is for some reason, like we can see flashes going off, but the models are not illuminated in the slightest. And I can understand if you want to go for that like moody picture where lighting is very considered and the reason why you've chosen not to highlight the figure is because of A, B and C. But that's not what's happening here. What's happening here is pure incompetence masquerading as expertise. Let me know, come on. I can only Look. bring some- His hair is blurry. Much out of them. It's your thing, do it. Or, I am uh, learning now about this industry the eyes of an Asian as opposed oh to Oh my goodness. Was he the dentist? Was he the dentist I guy? The guy who was like, Buy your toothpaste at the dentist. Was that him? An agent as opposed to being a supermodel. And it doesn't feel that nice. I'm gonna work it, model. Because I would never want to- Could you imagine saying to someone, just work it, model. Just work it, why, why aren't you working it and modeling? Why aren't you making it to the pattern? Work it, model. Because I would never want to represent anyone like me. This guy knows how to model. Come on, Brian, come on. And now look what's happening. I'm representing other people not like me, but I want them to be the next to me, but they're not quite there yet. I'm not what does that even mean? Wait, look it up. Look at this. I want to shoot you like you're dead, okay? Like like you just stabbed yourself, like... And that's hot. You never look so good. What is she hot. talking about? That's not a set. Look, you... Uh... This, to me, does not say high fashion. This says model mayhem cosplaying with a camera. If you look at the side of the wall here, there's just all those, like, bits. So it can't look like a set. If it was just a sofa against a wall like this, you could easily make it look what they're trying to go for with this look. But it's not. It just looks ridiculous. It just looks like this woman has fallen over and she's taken a photo. This isn't glamorous in the slightest. You never look so good. I like the blood rushing your head. Towards the end of our photo shoot, Janice asked me if I would do a noon shoot. And I basically said to Janice, you know, it's a personal boundary that I, I'm not comfortable crossing. So she's going to make you cross it. Why do you not want to be naked, though? Tell me what your clauses are. It's what just is? for me, it's too, it's too much exposure. Like, I have to be true to who I am. All of no, a sudden, she didn't want to take her clothes off. I wish I'd known that before. This is something I have to think about and deal with because she is truly a stunning woman. I can respect her morality, but how could she work for designers without taking her clothes off? Well, you can work for designers without taking your clothes off, but you don't, you absolutely can say no to jobs which require full nudity. No is a full answer, Janice. The thing with Janice is in her professional like world, when she's trying to be like this person who's a business bitch, she's never been told no. And you can really see it because she instantly tries to like stamp on that boundary and really push it anytime that someone says no. And then she snaps back with quick insults, like with uh, what happened with Britney when she's going to Paris. And the very fact that she instantly, instead of being like, oh, okay, that's a boundary you've put. She was like, well, you're not gonna make any money anyway. Huh. And she's just about to convince this model here that she has to go fully naked in order to make it in this industry. Natalie Winsel, when you do it, focus the look on me, honey. Focus the look. That's Have we it. Seen her? When I first came to the agency, I had never done any modeling. I was scared to put myself out there. I was afraid of rejection. I wish you the shoe lady. You know what I like about you? You're game for everything. I want to do a nude. What a hot picture. She's comfortable with herself. You know why I did this? I just wanted to see if you're going to cooperate. You look great. A lot of these models still aren't comfortable with their bodies. And that's yeah, because you keep telling them that they need to be 18 years old and three stone. That's why. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. I'm going to work in this agency. Miss Jones, you are the whitest cracker I ever did see. I need to make sure that they're open to do whatever a designer asks of them. Can we get naked? Yeah. I mean, just want to see if you're comfortable enough. Janice asked me to get naked and nude shoot with the football, and at first I was iffy about it. Billy, I'm about to douse you. You're going to make a face like this. Oh! You know, I trust Janice, and she explained to me this is like, you know, it's a real good look for you. Ah! I said make the scream! Ah! Look at the camera, Billy! Are you taking the pace? Are we meant to think that this is modeling? Is this modeling? Is this a modeling agency? Would you ever see elite model management do this? Would you? Would you ever? If the idea of like editorial high fashion models is to sell items of clothing or an idea or a lifestyle, what lifestyle idea or clothing is this picture trying to sell? Get splashed in an alleyway, girls. Take photos in the dark. I'm going to cream. Mean. Oh, scream it. Scream it. Bye. Grace Petters. 
Listen. Even the even the composition of that shot. Look at how uncomposed this shot is. We've got no feet. They've pushed him over to one side. We've got dirt on the backdrop. Easily seen. What's the point? What is the point? What is the what's the point? What, what's the point? Bye. Grace Peterson. The worst season final in history. Yeah, this is for me that she wanted me to pose nude for her. Nineteen. Right. I heard you don't. Can't even drink alcohol, right? but it's required to be nude. Why? I don't feel comfortable. I'll do bikini. I'm looking for legends. I want to promote all of my passion and energy and promote it into girls. Go to another agency then. I'm sorry. You know, I think the world of you, but I can't, I can't live like this. And Janice is really hounding me to... She's grooming you. ...this mold that she wants in, into her agency. And I just feel like I'm constantly not fitting that mold. I respect your decision. If you don't want to do this, you shouldn't be a model. Take it or leave it. Door or shoot. Coming up. What an absolutely vile thing to say to someone because this photo isn't, it's not like she's being offered a lot of money for this. She's being paid nothing. So if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything is a perfect saying here. Janice Dickinson's vile agency. Yeah, it's quiet. If I don't get naked for my shoot, I'm cut. If that's something you don't feel comfortable doing, then walk out the door. It is really, really difficult being able to just walk away from something I put so much time and effort into. Yes, but exactly. My own happiness. Because is she doesn't want to push you. More she wants to push you even further than you're comfortable. Creating what I believe, just to be in an agency. Taking off your clothes is part of being a model. I'm desperately trying to build a high fashion modeling agency. I can't do that with people that are ashamed of their bodies. It's a tough industry. Cutthroat, sorry. Grace decided to leave, and I respect that. I wish that she hadn't wasted my time. I'm not wasting one more breath. Go get me a model. Grace decided to leave, so I'm that's it. I'm gonna have her clothes set, cause I'm gonna shoot. Wait, what? I'm gonna have as her clothes set, cause I'm gonna shoot Nia Bell naked. Wait. Why didn't she ask for a clothes set for the blonde lady then? For Grace? I don't understand the choices in this show. That was really sad. And I bet you back in the day when this aired, everyone would have been like, Oh yes, Janice is right, yeah. Why don't you want to be a model if you want to get your boobs out, girls? You horrible, horrible girl. And I bet you everyone in the audience would have been like, yes. But now looking at this with 2022 vision, I'm like, hmm, she doesn't want to take her clothes off. You can't force her to take her clothes off. She can leave, yes, but also taking your clothes off isn't every single thing in this industry. Where I'm from, and that's a person, and you can see the girls, the ladies. Mm, my family won't even be happy about it. You uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay, giggles are good. Peter has been wanting to drop Nia Bell, but we gave her time to prove that she could lose the weight. I really have to ask myself how much time I'll give her. Don't get dressed, I've got this picture, thank you. Work it, girl. Work it, work it, work it. That's crystal, great. true crystal, heart. I didn't get Dungeons it. and Dragons. But lo and behold, she lost 15 pounds. She became a model. Okay, so get sexy. There you go. So looking back, this whole experience has definitely been life changing. I definitely feel like I've transformed. I didn't even realize better. she was you know, the same good. person. Intelligence. Come on, you're a smart right here. Yeah, you're going out to make 10 million today, man. Yeah, you're going to rule the world today. Right there, right there, right there. Janice keeps me or drops me. I guess it all depends on what she says, but... This whole episode is basically the kind of Polaroid section of... There's something about Miriam. And also the photo section in America's Next Top Model where they're like, one photo will die, death. That section, this whole episode is just gonna be like, shoot every model, hear what they say. And then Janice will be like, no, they died. For the most part, I feel pretty confident. Work it. You look so pretty now. It was an exhausting day. This guy's a rock star. Change it up, TJ. She really likes it. Stop, stop, work on that look. Yes, TJ. Give it to me, Lauren. I shot every single one of my models. 18. That's hot. Hold that. But I got Terrible a good sense photo. of who has improved. Well, what happened to you? You turned into a model overnight. From those, you know, one-on-one -on -one shoes, who's working for model. you? I shot like 100,000 models today. The answer is, I honestly don't know. Oh, for goodness sake, get a grip. Okay. Get some big decisions tonight. Right, here we go. So, death. Today is the day we must decide which models that we will place on our management board. We need to make some decisions. 
Yeah, we have to clean house a little bit. Did you see how she just came? We need to make some decisions. Just as she's like running into the studio. Look, she probably just walked over there and then walked back. Yeah, because where is she coming from in this shot? Did she get, where, where did, where was she? Need to make some decisions. Unhinged. Yeah, we have to clean house a little bit. This means that we will be pulling all of our resources into getting them work. The key to success is in the quality, not quantity. We've literally just spent a lot of money. We've got a huge billboard. How much was that? So we just heard there that that guy, what's he called, Peter, was like, we've just spent money on a huge billboard. So they're going to what exactly? Have one of the models on the billboard to show that Janice Dickinson now has an agency? Is that the vibe that we're going for here? On the last episode of the first season? Or is it the first episode of the 12th season with how random this entire collection of episodes is? 10,000. What? Yeah, but it's worth it. How much is that? 10,000. What? Yeah, but it's worth it, because we need to launch, we need to launch in a big way. We needed to let the community know that our agency has arrived. What better way to do that than with a massive electronic billboard oh, the on gaze. the busiest street in LA, Sunset Boulevard. This will be a huge advertisement for the agency, as well as a nice surprise for the kids who make it on that management board. All right, let's do it. We have three categories for model. Drop models, new faces, and model management. Right. Bye. Bye. I don't know that Petra has strong enough looks, and she also has a pretty bad attitude. Can we put her on the new bad faces attitude. board? Bad attitude. The new faces board are the models that need development, the kids that aren't quite ready. They use the words bad attitudes in these shows to mean not compliant, whereas it's like, these models don't have to do absolutely every single thing you say. Do you want to have like a putty piece of nothing or do you want to have a legend, as you've said? Now, legends are very, very notable for doing what and being what? A little bit diva. They know their value. They know what their worth is. They know what they want to do and where they want to go. Just like Janice. So the idea that she said, I want to raise legends, but then as soon as anyone's like, no, my direction is this. She's like, no, get in the bin. I hate you. Look what you've done to her. I can't live like this. For camera. Naya Bell Luol. I don't see it. I definitely you can appreciate and value the, the, the looks. Naya Bell, I know Janice wants her to lose weight. I don't think that's going to help. She comes from the same vibe as the Alec Weck. There is one Kate Moss. There is one Alec Weck. There is one of them just because there is one. If we're trying to create another one, it won't work. I've been in this business a long time, and I thought I know who we could sell to the public, whereas Janice can find um, an angle in a circle about beauty and what she likes or doesn't like. So it was tough for us. Christina, I bow to you. I would trust she you more because you're a weight. business person. What? She's put on. She, she, you wanna, I was gonna say back me on this one, guys. The only person who's putting on any weight here is him. What do we do with a fun she's, lady? She's gotta go. She, she's a legal disaster waiting to happen. Don't, Don't you have to put transsexual on their cards? Yeah. Otherwise, it's misrepresentation. I am not joking with Claude Claudia. The minute I flopped it and turned her back into a boy, which you'll see the photographs. She was a gorgeous boy. I know she was really hoping some of the models would be able to to finally. I don't care, Janice. I don't care. That is disgusting. I'm going to have to watch that again. What was that? It's a legal nightmare, did you say? Disaster waiting to happen. Don't you have to put transsexual on? What do we do with a fun she's, lady? She's got to go. She's a legal disaster waiting to happen. Why? Don't you have to put transsexual on their cards? Yeah. Otherwise, it's misrepresentation. I am not joking with Claude Claudia. The minute I flopped it and turned her back into a boy, which you'll see the photographs, she was a gorgeous boy. I know she was disgusting. really hoping some of the That is a really disgusting thing to say. She was a beautiful boy, so why doesn't she just, you know, become a boy? I shouldn't even have to explain why that is absolutely unacceptable, hurtful, and disgusting. And I didn't even really think... Ugh. Ugh. I shouldn't have to explain why that is an absolutely hurtful and disgusting thing to say. I don't really have any more words about that. That is incredibly hurtful and unacceptable. The very fact that she's labeled herself as like gay friendly LGBT icon is completely unacceptable. You aren't Janice. You weren't and you aren't now. You're not just suddenly going to be lovely. Models would be able to, to finally prove that they had what it takes. Either you have it or you don't. Ladies and gentlemen, the Serene Show. Cut him, please. Yeah, he's got to go. We need models with bodies. He's not a model. He's not a model. He's an exotic dancer is what he is. TJ Bates stays. Bloody hell. He's looking a little old. He's just not. What do you think, boys? He's not in great shape I either. I think his skin isn't very good and he does look old. Bye bye, TJ. Lauren Wasser stays. Okay, Lauren Wasser stays. Okay, Lauren, don't. No, there's nothing to say about you. Lauren is too big. She's never really gonna lose the weight. If anything, with her to work the angle of her size, just like have her eat more. I think uh, Janice is really beating a dead horse with some of them. Marcus stays, gangsta gangsta stays. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I saw him give you attitude on the photo shoot. You. You're, you're like his biggest fan, and he gave you attitude. Brothers should have attitude with guys like you out there. The guy needs to have an attitude. Disagreeing with Janice and having um, heated discussions over talent is probably the hardest thing I've had to do so far. Ben! I didn't like him, as you know. Until you saw his photographs. He started, he, no, he's not there yet. Andrew, is he a model? Deer and headlights in every single Shit, show. that's my line, OK? Maurice, body extraordinaire. But he didn't model that well. Though. I am so it's shocked little... at just how disgusting this section is. Like, this can't be really what happens in modeling agencies. I don't think they are this cutthroat, catty, and gross. I understand that it's a professional industry. I've never been in this situation to judge people from, like, what I want from a campaign or something. But this just... What's wrong with saying you're not who we're looking for? Why is the need to com- Ooh, dirty, dirty girls. This woman is dirty. No wonder why we've got an entire generation of millennials who can't function in this world by allowing themselves to love their body because every single inch of it was scrutinized on television by people who were in power. That pretty does it's fit short. an inch. After hours of grueling deliberation, Peter and I, along with Cody's two cents, made the selections on who remains with the agency, who's getting dropped. Yes, who? I get goosebumps when I think about the kids I have to drop. I care about them. I'm, I, I don't, I, I'm losing sleep. My hair's falling out. I really care about this shit. Oh, uh, we're, we're get gonna focus a grip. On the people we're keeping on management. It's Come scary, on. you know, I'm, I'm afraid. We have a lot of hard work to do, but we're up to it. Those are what we like to call in the industry crocodile tears, sis. Crocodile tears. Why is she upset now? She's like, oh, it's suddenly it's not enough about me. So I'm going to burst into tears and say how difficult this is. After just scathing every single person on that board and being incredibly transphobic and homophobic. We are. I don't know if I'm up to it. I see you work hard every day. I'm I don't know if I'm up to it. Do what does she out? do? She doesn't no. work at all. You really want to get freaked out right now? What is Janice's job here? Terrible photographer, terrible life coach. Is her job to just call people into the office and insult them before they leave? Is that her job title? Insultress. Yeah. Now we have to tell the people that we just dropped, that we're dropping oh. them. Exactly. No. Oh. Right now all the models are getting the hair and makeup done because we've told them that there's gonna be a big event on Sunset Boulevard. Janice and I are gonna go through and individually pull out the people that we're dropping and I guess very unceremoniously let them go. So you're putting them through hair and makeup, brought them in so they've had to take an entire day out of their lives so that you can play dress up on TV and say, oh, actually, no. Rather than just being like, here's a phone call. I'm really sorry you're not what we're looking for. We don't want to waste any more of your time. Wow, this show is just reality TV. There is nothing modeling about this show. It's... What even is the concept of this reality TV show, though? There's no competition. There's no storyline. It's just, will she have an agency? Will she have an agency? Is she going to be a cunt? <laughs> yes, she's going to be a cunt. Hi, Serene. Hi. After a long, arduous thought process, after taking your photograph, after spending time with you in this agency... We're going to fire you on camera. Unfortunately, I have to drop you today. Why? Because you don't like me? Or because my attitude? Or because why? I believe in you, Serene. I have from the start. I think you need to work on yourself more with your attitude. And I think you need to go maybe to Europe. That's what I think. Okay, yes, so go to Europe and be an icon. Who's going to pay my bills? Like, since I started spending the whole money when I came over here the first time. No one paid my bills in the beginning. No one paid my transportation. No one paid my food. No one paid my hotel. All I said was, give me the opportunity to be a model, which we did. You'll pay your own bills, not me. Sorry. Okay, so what I did is for nothing. No, you yes. did it for experience. Just uh, this for me is not the experience. So I mean, there's the door. Yeah, Sorry. Bye. You know, I, I put my back, heart and soul into this agency to build a business. There's the door. Sorry. Bye. Have a nice life. I met Serene before I even met him as a model. He kind of hustled me then, and he was still hustling as he left because he said, "Who's going to pay for everything?" So I had to say bye bye to Serene. He had a bad attitude. Hey guys, I have to make an announcement. Be careful what you're doing. I had a bad attitude, so I think I was kicked out because of my mouth. I love you guys. Doing great. Hang in there. What? Wow. What the f is going on? Wow. Hey, what are we doing? Wow. I see, I told y'all this wasn't the game. I told y'all. Oh my god, this is really happening. 
Coming up. Who knows who she's gonna come in here? Oh, what's gonna happen next, girls? That was kind of a difficult thing to watch there because I don't feel like Sarin had a bad attitude. I feel like maybe because he's European, he has a bit more of a blunt attitude where he's just like, is this a waste of my time? How am I gonna pay my bills? Which are very good questions to have when you've been brought onto a TV show, not just a modeling agency, you've been brought onto a TV show to be used for ratings to make money for everyone else except you. You're meant to be the talent of this show, that's why like people are interested and invested to see whether you'll get into the agency or continue with the agency or whatever. This is like a masterclass in how not to be likable and how not to have a successful franchise. <clears throat> I love you guys. Hang in there. The most hey, disgusting guys. season finale I've ever seen of anything. I see, I told y'all this wasn't a game. I told y'all. After Peter and I had dropped Serene, he went out to the other models and made an announcement that caused Marcus to freak out, which made everyone else nervous. Well, yeah. <gasps> so? Uh, you weren't paying him, sis. moment for me right now. I mean, for everybody in here, because we came so far, you know? And it's kind of like... I mean, Janice is wrapping it up. I mean, who knows who she's gonna come in and pick next? Dear. Oh, Sarin. I wonder what he's up to now. I'll have to do a where are they now. Christiane, Peter and I brought you out here today to say, unfortunately, you're not right for our agency and we're not right to represent you today. Our morals aren't seeing eye to eye on things. I respect you. I completely respect you as well. Unfortunately, I was cut. Something I was kind of half expecting, half not expecting. I knew I had a chance, but I also knew that my morals might compromise my ability to be in the agency. Yes, I'm exactly that. Boys. Yeah, I got cut. I love you all. Keep in touch. She was like the hottest girl here. Oh, I'll call her later. I looked at your pictures, and I think you need a lot more work. Get your hair together. Maybe she do some shrinkage. I'm not a big fan of Petra. I don't think her face is a classic model face, and her body, she's just big hips, which is no fault of her, and I just, I really don't think she should be a model with her agency. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So hang on, have they brought everyone here in this entire... Is everyone in this room gonna be cut? Wow, okay. I'm a bit speechless about this episode. A lot of the people that are getting cut, I didn't expect it. I'm kind of surprised, so um, it's scary. It's hey, this Brad, show doesn't that's have a my 17-year-old cutie pie. 17. Looks good. Peter and I looked at your photographs, and I truly think that you need a lot more work. So unfortunately, you have to go. Thank you. That one was tough because she's so nice. She's so sweet. Brenda is not quite ready yet. She needs more life experience. And then maybe she can give modeling a second try, but I'm going to miss that girl. She has the potential. I used to look gorgeous. Yes. For now, this is the end of modeling for me. I need to go back to school and graduate. My grades have dropped like crazy, so I need to pick that up. And like right now, I don't think I can handle that stress anymore. Gosh. It fades. This is not going to be fun for me because I still believe in him. I borrow him for a Everyone second. is being told no. I'm gonna steal you. I'm in the middle of a haircut, and Peter pulls me outside. And, and at this point, I, I knew I was cut. Peter, one second. No, 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 wait. You wait. Come here. I gotta have a word with you. Sorry. Just one word. This is a guy with no abandon that I found two years ago in the ski shop. Work with me on this. There's just something about him. I can't drop him yet. No. What is happening? What is this show? We've got to hang on to him for a little while longer. You gotta trust me. <laughs> the intensity okay. is killing me. Don't look at me like that. She wants to. Don't look at me uh, like she that. wants to bed him. him. That's what. That's what this is. That's what this is. She yeah, pegs him. I'm sorry. Sam <laughs> don't like you. I know. I know. Cody don't like you. The boys don't like you. I'm the only person that likes you and believes in you. You're a little what a horrible stiff thing still. To say. As long as you've been trying this, you don't seem real comfortable to me in front of the camera. So. Uh, you got to step it up, pal. You have to prove them that I'm right about you and that you're right about you, too. Stop going out with the girls in my agency. He's been dating the girls in our agency? Yeah, haha. -ha. A lot of them. Kind of with a couple of them. Oh, yes, there was that storyline, wasn't there? It I was forgot nothing, about that. Just to get to know him, that's it. Take him on a picnic. To get to know them. But also, the cameras were there, which means it's all manufactured, so he's going to be like... I'm really shocked you've been taking the girls out on dates. But... 
That's exactly what's happened because the cameras were there to capture the whole thing. Oh, that liar. That is the worst lie I've ever you're heard worse in my than life. Agent Fields. That's, that's the worst lie I've ever heard. <laughs> really, we have to do a lot of work for you, so you're going on the testing board. I'm not cut. On the testing board. I'm on the test board. So, I'm here. Hmm. So, Janice told me that I'm going to be placed on the test board. At least I'm sure the agency it's good. I'm glad I'm working with Janice, and I definitely need to prove Peter wrong, and I'll be back on the working board soon. When I look at the film, your eyes, they, they, they just almost seem scared to me. Mm -hmm. And when I talk to you in person, I don't see it, but as soon as you get in front of that camera, it's, it just He just has fear. large and eyes. He's a nice guy. He's a little tall, but he's very gangly, and he looks like a deer in headlights to me. I don't know if that's just his look or he just gets nervous or intimidated. He is going to have to completely change who he is inside to be successful in this business. So you're going to cut him? It's a confidence him. thing. You're not confident enough yet. Of course, you're not right for the agency. Janice thinks I have it. Duke and Gabe all think I have it. And Peter's just one little man in this, in this industry. One little man. And I feel like I could go out and I'm gonna rock with everything I have for somebody else. And Janice is missing out. I wonder right if he now, did. Because now we're gonna have to do Claudia. No, is she the last one? No. Let's call her, let's go get Claude. Come on, we gotta do it. Stop calling her Claude. Claudia. Come on, honey, buddy. I've been a fan of yours since day one. Day one. We put a lot of thought into the it. music. And unfortunately, you're not right for the agency today. Nevertheless, don't let us keep you from following your dreams and your ambitions to do and be whoever you want to be. I'm sorry. Thank you. Love you. No, I will always love you. Get it? Horrible. Bye-bye. Okay. Hi, everybody. It was so hard for me to let Claudia go. I knew her before I even opened this agency, and I've always loved her, but this is a business, and unfortunately, there's no place for her here. <sighs> it hurts. That is Big not time. true. I'm like really trying <laughs> to hold all this in because I don't want to be the crybaby. I just really wanted to work with Janice. I know she's very difficult, and she's very outrageous. That's, this is heartbreaking. I'm sorry, you guys. It's really heartbreaking seeing all these really wonderful girls and guys getting cut who I've spent a long time with. That was horrible. Like, so the photo shoot that she's had earlier in this episode was completely unnecessary because she already knew. She already knew that there wasn't a place for Claudia, which is absolutely not correct because trans women have been on the cover of fashion magazines. We've been in TV and film and everywhere. But Janice is like, no, I don't think. Then be the change you want to see in the world, sis. It's, it's really emotional right now. You want now. something new? Do you want someone new and fresh-faced, or do you just want more of the same? Ugh, that's heartbreaking. Oh, I feel a little bit emotional about that. Disgusting. In the bin. Right, later that night, on the Sunset Strip. Is these the other models? Oh my they god. Us into the Saddle Ranch parking lot. Lights everywhere. Janice is standing there in her pimp juice outfit and they line us up like it's a firing squad, man. After all the drops that Janice made today, I was shaking in my boots. What? Yeah. What? Welcome! This has been a long, hard process. Unfortunately, eight of you will be on the new faces board which basically means that you're not ready to be full-time models, but we believe in you enough to develop you and groom you so that beep, beep. at some point in the near future, you will be ready. Right. He the wasn't microphone at all. A... Management board. Oh my which goodness. consists of... Learning you to all of our clients worldwide. And I mean worldwide. It's been a lot... You don't have any clients. You don't have any clients. Well, they're, they're saying you're going to all of our clients worldwide. This is all a scam. This is all a scam. You don't have any clients. Long, hard process. And I'm extremely proud to be this is her representing America's the Next Top Model moment. Modeling Agency. Hello. The first person on the new faces board is... Coming up. Oh, for we goodness sake, coming up. Gabriel, um, coming up, me. The Janice Dickinson Hideous Agency. Oh. 
person on the new faces board is. I don't know who any of these Marlon. people are. We did what every other agency Lovely. does. We came up with well new done, faces. Marlon. The new faces are the fledglings that aren't quite ready yet to go on the runway. These people are so TJ young. TJ Bates. That don't really know how to move that well in front of the camera. Miss Lauren Wasser. They don't really have all the categories of being a professional model ready, but they're almost there. Mr. Brian McMullen. Miss T. Robinson, Tamika. Marcus Boy. Wow. What is this good. section? Because before the test group, Janice was cutting people left and right. And I'd rather be in the test group than, than not in at all. Yes, Big very true. Big personal favorite of mine, Ben. <laughs> we have one more name on the new faces board. Someone that I care deeply about, that I have a lot of faith in. And the name is Nia Bell. You mean Nia Bell? Well done. Well done. So none of these people are getting paid. They haven't won anything. I thought that maybe we were going to get cut. I was talking to Fargo. We got nervous. We were completely terrified. I started looking around like, oh my god, who's going to be cut? That was really scary. I was just like, oh my god. The rest of you might be wondering why I dragged your asses to a parking lot on Sunset Boulevard. Well, there it is. Oh, you're all on the billboard. The billboard was really Janice's idea. It's always been her dream is that... to run a model agency. It's also been her... Wait a second. Is that green screen? It's always been her dream. That's green screened. It's all nonsense. It's green screened. Dream to run a model agency. It's also been her dream. She loves to look at herself in a big, beautiful picture. So we married the two ideas of, of her running an agency and us having great new models on a billboard that everybody that drives down one of the most That's popular streets That's kind of realistic. That one when looks like that. But what? And I was so excited. Here's the picture, by the way. Oh, I saw the pictures coming. I didn't see mine yet. They're not going to show my picture. I kept saying, like, I'm not going to see me on there. I mean, it's on Sunset Boulevard. And she went off a picture that out there. I just, this like, whole season has been leading up to, to having do. a photo on a billboard. Never in a million billboard. years did I expect to see that. This 12-episode season has been leading up to having a photo on a billboard. Is that it? That's it. They don't win any money, no prizes, no lucrative career. They win an opportunity to work with Janice with zero clients, but they have their photo on a billboard. Congratulations, Janice Dickinson! I can't stop looking at it. I'm and the new like, faces like, don't get the opportunity. Because I just keep staring, but it's unreal because there's so many people that could be on there and it's me. From Fargo. <laughs> Seeing my picture on, on the video billboard it was just completely insane. Um, I had no idea that they were going to do that. So that was kind of verification, you know, that that we're here. Is that all it is? It's like it a little a bit of validation. I was incredibly like proud. That was like the moment that I was, it actually hit me that this agency is Wait, would they have even had like a logo and everything set out at that point before post-production? Would they have even had a logo and like the editing thing all set up then? That's weird. So it is a green screen. That's a green screen Hollywood Boulevard, blah, blah, blah. Right, what's her son got to say? Proud. That was like the moment that I was, it actually hit me that this agency is happening for real. It took me 32 years to come to this point to get a billboard on Sunset Boulevard. And now I'm turning it over to you guys. Well done. When we're staying on the side, I was like, okay, like, this is retarded. Yeah, we have to work on, but we should be over there. I know I took some... I'm going to say it was a different time and that word was used quite a lot, but I do not appreciate that being used at all, actually. That word, wow. That's weird to hear that on TV in such plain English. Ooh. Ugh, this episode, no. Work on, but we should be over there. I know I took some amazing pictures. Where's Brittany? Aww. Was she there? <laughs> well, look at it this way. At least you're not out of the outright. But still, yeah. put me on testing board for what? What, what do I have to test? When they showed the billboard and I didn't see my face in there, mm -hmm. as first I was like, okay, maybe there's a mistake. I should be there. But if that's how I feel with Janice and Cody feel, fine, I show them who the model is. It's too bad that me and Nate Bell couldn't share together and, you know, celebrate it, like being on the big screen up there on the billboard because we've been through the whole thing. She was at the first audition with me. It wasn't today, but she'll have her time. Things don't always turn, turn out the way you expected. I deserve so much more. 
I'll be on Bilbo soon. And you were. And to put the icing on the cake, I handed him their Zed cards. John Stallings, I got yeah. something for you. The Zed cards are the equivalent of business cards for models. Yo, Adrian! They will let people know that these models are part of the Janice Dickinson modeling agency. Is this the end You'll of the get season? a big round for Sarah. They get to win a picture of themselves. Paul Ramirez, too bad you're ugly. Billy. Natalie. Mr. Chris Jones. Once in a lifetime, there comes a guy. You have got it going on, Mr. Green Eyes. Give me a hug. I'm really proud of how much our models have worked to get to this point. You did really, really good. There have been good times and bad, but the right people have made it through. Stina. Woo! This is, is Ava Gardner, baby. Ava Matthew Anderson Gardner. When Peter handed my Z card to Janice, I saw this picture and I was like, oh, I wonder who that is. And then I like recognized that this flower and this dress, not my face or what I look like, but the flower, I was like, oh, that's totally me. This is the reason why they're doing it, is to be like, look what we can give you. Don't you want to give your soul to us? But you've come a long way, baby. It's been a long she hates you. I really have been trying so hard. All I wanted was for Janice to see me in a different way. I didn't get it until I photographed you in a chic, very elegant, sophisticated way. It gave you a touch of class. I feel very lucky that I'm still here. Well done, no. Fargo. Right, it your final thoughts, Janice. feeling handing out those cards. Oh. Okay, I've got a lot to say to Miss Pierce. Seeing the expressions on the models' faces, it's been the high point of a very big and emotional day. Crystal. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's been a long, long journey. And, and the other, the other contestants like, don't get this? Set in stone, I'm here. Contestants. Yeah. The other... I'm not going anywhere. Models. I am so proud of the Janice Dickens and models! It's been a dream of mine Just for in a, a calm long park time. Somewhere. After I would model, after I would take pictures, that it would do something that would produce a revenue, something for my children to be able to fall back on. When I opened up the agency, it was a startup business in every single sense. I really had nothing it more still than is this. idea. Now I have models that are ready and willing to work at the highest caliber and levels in the industry, a team that can book and manage them. And I feel that this agency has finally arrived. Starting now, arrived we are in not the a startup anymore. <laughs> it's time to put my models on the covers of fashion magazines where they belong, generate profits, and just see how far we can take this. This is not the end, honey. This is just the beginning. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip. Oh! On the next Breaking Up with Shannon Doherty. Breaking up with Shannon Doherty? Well, no, actually. I have some thoughts, my loves. Well, my lovelies, I think we can safely say that this episode has been incredibly difficult to watch, kind of from start to finish. I have my own horses in this race because I myself, as a trans person, am fully shocked at the way that Claudia was treated by this show and sort of paraded around as nothing more than a joke. I have very strong feelings for that. And for that, I will never... Never, 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 never forgive Janice Dickinson. She actually had a, an article released recently where she said that she wasn't sorry for anything that's ever happened in her career. So it's like, if you're not sorry, you can't see fault with what you've done and how you've treated people. So I think that's actually quite disgusting. I am really shocked that that was the season finale of this this entire show that's been going on for almost a year on my channel. I cannot believe that. That's absolutely wild. There are six more seasons of this. Let me know if you think that I should carry on watching through the seasons, even though I have quite a bad taste left in my mouth from Janice. Ugh. I very much want to reiterate my point from earlier as well in saying that every time they mention a bad attitude on this show, it means that they're, the person that they're saying it about is not compliant. They're like not giving in. They're not doing everything that production wants them to say. They're painting them out as like a really difficult person that can't get along with anyone, which is just not the case. It's not true. Again, I also want to point out how cheap this episode was. They didn't have to pay for anything except maybe that billboard, which I'm still, I'm still in two minds if that actually was a billboard that really existed. And the reason why I say it's cheap is because Janice was the photographer in this, in this episode. Although there was one other photographer that we didn't really see, wasn't really mentioned by name, but he took a couple of really good shots, especially when I was like, oh, what a gorgeous shot. Oh, it's not Janice taking it. What a surprise. It's really strange that she's had like 
three clients maybe this entire season and everything's been a bit like do it for free do it for free do it for free and she's trying to tell her models as if like i'm gonna take you to the worldwide stage and it's like well you haven't actually because we haven't been introduced to any of these models is lives we're not following them around trying to get jobs we're not following the agency trying to bring in new clients we're just watching janice shout at people for being 10 pounds overweight which is actually a normal healthy weight unhinged completely unhinged i'm quite glad that we finished this first season because this first season has been chaos from start to finish i'm hoping that season two which we will be starting soon i have another idea of a show to start between there and now because i kind of wanted to give janice a little bit of a, a break should we say i've had a bit much of janice recently and each episode in season two is as long as this finale which is 45 minutes long so we're gonna get more janice content a little bit later on and also a peek behind the curtain at whether season two will actually have a storyline and what that might be anyway my loves let me know what you think about what we've seen in the uh comments box below i've been hurt confused upset annoyed disgusted intrigued but mostly violently grossed out actually let me know what you think about what we've seen because um i bet you we're gonna have quite the discourse in the comments and with that my loves it's time for the patreons i want to say a massive thank you for being part of the patreon you gorgeous people allowing me to thrive and survive and today's twitch shout out goes to mr moomoo thank you so much for following me over on twitch you stunning woman on the go and if you want to be in with the chance of being featured in my next video's twitch shout out make sure you follow me on twitch i stream every monday and thursday although the thursday might be changing because i'm actually going through a, a little few things that i need to change around and it is luxaria plays come and join us over there and as always i want to say a massive thank you to my top tier patreons aloria luke peterson stephanie newtupski orcos samoji beeble 32 camille sara shell herman christina kyle contrapoints danielle danny smith dr a jevod elizabeth stone eric castillo jen martin jennebeth herman jenny hendrix caitlin wright laura jane laura jane again les banana lisa pennington min min tm moisten 98 mariah sherman nixie tricks paolo rivera rachel the ec biscuit romano ryan vita sexy Texy rn slampire queen steffi tech travel tromo and victoria carella thank you guys so much for your continued support you are absolutely gorgeous and you know what my loves i'm going to leave it on the note of if you want to go to paris and get paid for modeling over sticking with janice go and do it oh and also don't parade people around as a joke just don't do that. It's not fair. It's not funny. It's bullying and it's cruel. And with that, my loves, I think I'll see you in the next video. Ugh.